Audio testing appears to be good. Video testing appears to be good. Getting rid of the uh, the screen. God damn it. Had a joke there too. Getting rid of the stream overlay, which is more interesting than the stream, also good. Okay. Um, so today, much like in previous times, I will be doing something I have uh, probably not discussed on stream before. I don't think I have. Uh, but I got triggered by this question, and if you're wondering, um, let me explain why I got triggered, and then also um, make a little, not a joke really, but more of a, a, a fact that's humorous, as it were. Okay. Um, so someone asked this question here. And let me log in because I actually do have... Oh, come on. No, don't... Okay. I think that's correct. Oh, come on! Piece of garbage. Yep, apparently I don't... Hang on while I get my password. Um... Okay, hang on one sec here. I might be able to finesse it from being on this site. Nope. There we go. So this site I know is this, and it turns out... Um, what the hell was that site anyway? I thought it was on most of the... Oh, I am on Earth Science. I don't know why I didn't go through, but okay. So we'll just go back to Earth Science... And I get to be annoyed. I think if I do a reload, it'll... Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, um... So, why did this question trigger me? So, the guy asked, can an island be in an island? Question is off topic. The, uh, closed yesterday by the, uh, really, really bad people. They're not just moderators and trolls. They're also bad people. Um, so this was closed because they didn't understand the question and they're stupid. But in fact, not only is there a, um... Not only, oh uh, God. So, so apparently, someone even bothered the guy. One of the guys who closed it bothered to answer it. But you know, this is this is Stack Exchange. That sort of thing happens. Um, it's sort of evil nested into evil. Um, but the the what reason this triggered me is because I've actually looked into this, and this is actually an interesting question. This is not a, a trivial question, um, and it comes up in the um, what I'm going to call coastal distancing just because it sounds like social distancing, although it, the word ing, the, the, the gerund is inappropriate here. It should just be coastal distance. So the question, of course, is how far are you from a coast um, at any given point on the Earth? Well, it turns out someone has worked that out. Um, but of course, there's problems with it. Now, let me see if I can find, uh, probably not actually, um, uh, jeez. Okay. Wow. Okay. God, this is freaking long. Okay, but I actually do know where it is, I think, but of course, as always, the um, the write-up is not where you would expect it to be. There's several files here here called... No, there are not. Um... Let me do a quick source on my aliases which I changed. It is Pomodoro time, it's the first one, so we're going to uh, ignore it. Uh, but after this I will be taking them unless someone shows up in the stream. Oh, you know what, this also, this actually might be in stack. It's good that I, I, I place things based on both the subject matter they belong to and where I'm answering the question. It's really, really nice and confusing. So, okay, so maybe I have screwed this up somehow, I mean unquestionably. Um, coast distances, land by coast. Um, oh, buffer land, yes, because this is uh, what I think GISologists s s s call a uh, buffering. Not not the same as frame buffering, not the same as other people's buffering. Okay, so now one of these will have a, a very nice write-up of uh, what I'm trying to do, or or it won't. So that's that's kind of where we're going with this. Let's see if this one has it. Um, and by the way, this is actually related to another question. I'm going to try to combine these into um, uh, into um, into a solid README file that I can use as the answer. Um, 
and I might even call it readme buffer coast just to get these two together. So this is mm -hmm. lots of crap here, lots and lots of crap here. Nothing that resembles uh, an actual answer or partial answer. But now we have other files. Oh, okay. Oh, and I actually should have a list. I should have a link to my own. Nope, I do not. Okay, so maybe it's this one that has the link. This is the DIY version using coastline data. Um, probably doesn't look like it's going to do anything interesting either. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, this is actually a question I asked while in the process of asking another question, which is, on a great circle line, where are you closest to a pre-given point? Um, so I think this is part of the write-up. Uh, no, this is part of the write-up to the question that I asked that's resulting to this. Oh, here we go. Here's, a, here's, a, here's an actual... Let me go ahead and write the... Um, <sighs> I guess I'll do it here. Stack readme buffer coast. And I guess I'll call it text, just because I haven't called the other ones text, and I want to be inconsistent. Okay, so this is actually fairly useful if I can find it. Um, where to go? I actually, I actually had something. <laughs> oh come on, really? Did I go into the wrong file? I did. Um. Yep, I did go in, it's at the very end of the other file, that's why. Um, let's go ahead and bring this over here. So we'll just, these are just some notes, obviously. Uh, or notes, whatever you prefer. So we'll get this. Um, uh, now in the other SE uh, question, I've been, t I've been sort of teasing them with an answer without giving them one, but it might have some actual useful information. And of course we should link it. Um, and by the way, if you're wondering why this stream is named the Caspian Sea something, we'll see in just a minute. But umpa <laughs> Yeah, I wish I had a sense of humor. Okay. So this, I think, will still work, actually. Um, it's going to be a little bit slow because I'm loading a really large image into it. Um, namely, the image map3.png, which I think I actually have here. Um, well, uh, no, I don't have it here. I have, have it somewhere, but okay. So this is the distance. This is the, um, if you take the coastal distance from a source that I have not yet named, but is, is a pretty good source, actually, of how far you are from the nearest land. Of course, it doesn't have a scale or anything, but as you can kind of guess, th you know, this means you're pretty deep inside of land, and, uh, you know, the, the deeper, the darker the water color, the further away you are from land. Um, so this is all pretty, looks pretty good until, of course, we, we deal with the big fucking problem, the BFG, as it were. Um, no, BFP. Um, which is the first problem is actually finding the bloody thing. Oh, yeah, here it is. Now, if you look at the Caspian Sea here, you'll notice that, one, you immediately think of the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Prince Caspian. And number two... The sea looks kind of like Great Britain flipped around. But three, you'll notice that according to the data file, assuming I colored it right, which I did, the Caspian Sea is inland. So if you're in the middle of the Caspian Sea and you're drowning, that's too bad, because according to the data that I'm about to show, you are inland. And this is the largest inland sea, actually. Uh, but it is, it is considered, it is the largest inland sea. So in that sense, you are inland. Uh, but in a very real sense, if you're in the Caspian Sea, although it is pretty salty, so you probably float, uh, but you are in water. So that is sort of not a good answer to if you were standing right here, or even inside the Caspian Sea, and you asked, what's the closest water to me? And someone said, oh yeah, it's the Black Sea, it's over here, uh, as you can see from these like expanding circles. Um, and you would say, well, I'm a racist, it's not the Black Sea, I think it's the Caspian Sea. And then we would take out the, uh, the file and say, nope, the Caspian Sea is in the middle of land. So that is the that is the thing that has triggered me into into talking about this. It turns out that problem relates at a deeper level um, to finding seas inside of land, and then you can have islands in seas. You can have lakes in in islands in seas, and you can even have I think um, bodies of water in islands in lakes in seas. No, in lakes 
in land, in seas, on the earth. It's like, oh, I need to mention that song. Um, um, the hole in the bottom of the sea, or I think I prefer the song, um, whole, um, tree that grows, um, and in that tree there was some blah, the prettiest blah that you ever did see. It's one of those, uh, songs that builds on itself, and that's exactly what we're doing here, except it's not exactly what we're doing here. Okay, so let's go back to, uh, this, uh, thing that was actually fairly unhelpful. Oh, I probably should run the screen here as well. Give me one second here to get the screen up and running. Okay. Oh, and we have lost, of course. I want to see everything that's buff, man. Oh, that's the thing I just created. Um, that's the thing I just created with the tilde in front of it. Uh, this is the thing I looked at earlier. Didn't have what I needed. This had the one thing I needed, which was the URL. Always good stuff. And I guess I didn't look through the rest of this. Um, oh. Oh, no, I did look at the rest of the cider. It was almost completely useless. So now we're at the third file. Um, uh, na, 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 na. So we probably need to... This is the file that we're actually going to be looking at. Um, I need to find where it's from. It's from a reliable source. It's also because... I am very bad about writing down sources, but I actually think I wrote this one down, because I was actually going to, um, to do something with this. Uh, I mean, I did do something with it, but I was going to do more with it, and I thought it would be good to have a reasonable source, but mm, does not appear to be. And then in grass, which is a, uh, I obviously need to mention grass. Um, mention files in GitHub mention this stream question mark in YouTube because Twitch is just really a holding ground for my YouTube streams. I bet you didn't know that. Um, actually, you might have. I don't know. Um, okay. So, let's see. Oh, 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 once again, I am just freaking brilliant at putting files, where A, where I can't get to them, where other people can't get to them, and B, uh, where I don't keep track of where the frick they came from. Um, um, God damn. The, the key thing here is the word coastline. I think this is where I created the project. Unfortunately, because I'm using files that are external to this, it doesn't really help anybody, uh, as usual. Uh, let's see. And I think these are the actual key files. Not, not, not key in the sense of index, but in the, the most important files here are, are these files here. Uh, and there's more. There's L1, L2, and so on. Uh, and they were obviously too big for me to get. Yep, yep, just put them in there. So this is actually, I'm going to go ahead and cut and paste this, because these are the, f the files that actually, the big part of the answer, the non-answer, as it were, because all of our answers are non-answers, of why this, this is important. Um, which is, by the way, much longer than the answer itself. Um, okay. Definitely want to mention this. This is the original problem. I guess what you kids would call the OP. Um, and I, I have got to have some, some references in here. Mm -hmm. This is another important file, actually. I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to show that it is wrong, but it, it knows it's wrong. It's not actually, um, it's not wrong, oh, Jesus Christ, this is a long freaking file. This is a fairly long, ugly, useless file, so I like it. Uh, let me see if I can, I can suck some use out of it. Oh, in the process of doing this, I actually discovered that Mathematica had found some islands, or created some islands, 
probably due to uh, what, what are called artifacts uh, that are extremely small. Um, and that's less, one of them is less than one centimeter squared. This is obviously on a real island, but it led to some humorous, um, humorous dialogue in the Mathematica Stack Exchange uh, directory. Um, and and there was, this is also related to another question about uh, if, you, if you add up all the land in Mathematica, uh, it turns out it doesn't equal the actual land in the world, so we don't know why that is. Uh, I, I mean, they might have fixed it by now. But anyway, that, so this is actually a question that led to more questions. Um, and then for some reason I decided to part, do a Voronoi diagram, which I think is not useful for anything. Um, even, even less so than this whole project is useless. Uh, wow, this is an insanely long. Oh, hang on, did I see a URL there? No, I did not. Um, and this is an actual fail. I was not able to do it. Um, this might be answering an entirely different question. And actually, no. Okay, now another file. Next file, please. Aha! Well, this has... Oh, 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 hang on, okay. Ooh, here we go. Finally, I has... I has a... I has a URL. And I think this is actually the correct... Nope, I don't think this is the URL that I need for the other thing that I need. The thing that shows that this URL is the wrong URL. Because it would be pretty silly for a URL to show that itself was wrong. Uh, okay, BC Bufferland. You can see that it took several different approaches to these, um, some of them which apparently have nothing to do with anything. Uh, for some reason I decided I'm interested in New York neighborhoods. Um, now this is the huge, huge file of, um, of, uh, seed, okay. Alright. So now we're going to try doing a grep HTTP star. Probably should have controlled that in some way. Wow, that's still a lot. Okay. Um, we have that one. This from coast. This is the one we have to start with, but it's not the it's not the right right one. Um, so O one D, I'm pretty sure, is the L1, nope. I'm beginning to see why I don't post my answers. I really have no idea what the hell I'm doing. And this, of course, is all the URLs in here, which are way, way, way too many of them. Um, all right, let's go ahead and look at this, this URL here so we can get the mistake at least. Um... Da, 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 da. 2009. Um, and unfortunately, I don't think you can zoom this map. But this is an important uh, URL to start with. Is this where we're starting with? It is. Good. Um, I do have this file. And it looks like old, doesn't it? It looks like it's saying 01 dzip. looks like it's saying old. Uh, let me see if I can find that. I don't think this file is linked here, but I think I can get it here. And I'm tempted to put it on uh, in Git, but it might be too big for that. So please stand. It actually stands for, uh, I know you can't see what I'm doing. Um, 01D, meaning um, 0.1 degrees. And I know I have a copy of it, so I'm not going to download it again. Be nice. 01D.zip. Um, okay, I do have it. Let me see how big it is. Well, we'll, we'll actually just link it in first. Hang on. Uh, I'm going to link in the whole directory that has coastal information in it, which might actually um, give us answers to other things. 
So let's take a look here. It's now in the. Let's go ahead and create a new. Turn off the freaking. Uh, oh wow! I don't even have my. Um, okay. Control A escape. Make that B. I probably need a screen rec file. Let me. Let me. Qu I'm pretty sure I have one in. Um, I don't have a screen rec file. I must. I must have a screen rec file. And once I link it, and no. Oh. Well, I'm not happy. Hang on one sec. Bloody hell. Um, it might be, now yesterday I moved a lot of stuff that was, m that I mount over and put it into something called old shit. Um, I don't know if there's any, nope, there's no dot files there. And then beginning to doubt there's a screen rec file there. So let's, actually, how are we going to fix this issue? I mean, we, could, we don't have to create a screen rec file, um, but I really want to. Um, and it should probably be created in BC Get Brighton. I mean, and then we can link to it. So hang on while I, um, get really annoyed and look for one. I know you can't see what I'm doing. I'm looking for one on the other machine and seeing why it never made it into some form of, uh, Git or something useful like that. Oh, I'll be darned. I do have one. Uh, of course, it's not where you would expect it to be. It's on my server. Uh, so BC Git... You see info three root dot screen rc. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. BC git BC info three, and then we'll go ahead and put a tilde there just to make it a hard link. Um, root screen rc dot. Oh yeah, I can't create some links here because I'm actually on a mounted drive. So now. I'm going to waste a little bit more time by doing it from where I can do it from. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, hang on. Oh, good. This is one of those things where it said it failed to create it, but it created it. Um, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and exit all the way out of screen. Uh, make sure I'm on my out. And then, there we go. Um, now it seems sort of pointless to create a new screen for this, but but anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into the coast directory, which I just linked in. And this is some data about, um, um, about um, well, you know, the coast. Um, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to find a way to show that, you know, maybe I don't need to. Um, I'm trying to find a way to, to, to show that um, that the Caspian Sea is inland according to this, uh, according to these computations. So I, I have to be a little bit careful here uh, because signed. Okay, it is Pomodoro time. I'm taking it back in two and two.
Okay, we are almost back. And we are back. Okay, so the idea here, which unfortunately I don't think I have the... Um, I haven't linked to the file that creates this. This? This. And this gives you the... Um, the distance from a given longitude and latitude to the nearest coast, positive means that you're in the ocean, negative means that you're on land. That's why it's called signed. Unfortunately, here we are. And they actually meant they're very nice here in mentioning that the um, the, in fact, this whole thing is actually, let's go ahead and put this URL. Um, and there, this is the actual very nice uh, mention here, right here. Oh, hang on. Um, and they do have a pictorial representation, but um, it's not zoomable. So that's where I can mention my pictorial representation. It's kind of hard to see the Caspian Sea in here. It's like... It's actually not that hard, is it? Um, hang on. Um, well, the way they're showing it, this is the... I never realized this was actually... Oh, this is, um... This is unsigned data. Signed data does tell you, um... Let's see. Um... Okay, so this is actually very nice. They're very, very clear here that, yes, this is the uh, this is not the data you want if you want to know how far you're away from water. That's a really nice, actually. So nice. I'm going to go ahead and give you a little pin tab. Uh, now let's get back to... Oh, the Caspian Sea is evil. Okay. Um, mm, okay, now we need to find these files. The GSH... Um, H, the files that have silly names. Um... And I really, really, really want to find this without having to Google it. Which is, by the way, is um, how you waste time. Uh, Googling would be much, much faster. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. This, I think, will only show up in a few places. Maybe not. Um, yep. Let me go ahead and move these files from the insanely bizarre location they were in. Um, to uh, coastal distance where they should be. Jesus Christ. Okay. That, that Roy will do nothing except um, waste some time and p potentially, though, um, it, somewhere in that data it'll tell us the source. I mean, you know, worth a shot, right? Let me see if we can find it first. Oh, yeah. That's actually pretty, pretty nice. And it might even have some. Uh, hang on one second here. There's some other data here, too, that I don't know what it is, though. So I'm not going to do anything with it. Um, yet. Something with precipitation stations in North Carolina. Why? Why do I know that's this? Okay. Let me go ahead and move this. Let me first of all make sure there's nothing dangerous in this data. Although if there is, um, I mean, that's stupid. Um, okay, it's a 149 megabyte file, which is something I need to check. Okay, let me go ahead and just move this over here to coastal data. And then, because I am, oh, that's gonna take a while because it's across disk move, not just a simple pointer change. So while that happens, I will um, whistle incoherently. I can't whistle. Okay. Um, and let me go ahead and link that back in here in case I ever need it at this location. Um, okay. So now that we have it here, let's take a look at it. And I'm hoping, blah, 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 somewhere, somewhere here, put a fucking H, put a fucking URL in here somewhere, you sons of bitches. No. <laughs> yeah, the one URL that's in there is not their URL. <laughs> I hate my life. Okay. 
Um, actually, they might give us the organization that does this. Uh, da, 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 God damn it. Uh, I'm guessing that we're going to be able to find it using um, this. Uh, we're going gonna, gonna to give up and use Google. And I'm sure it'll find it almost immediately. Told you. Uh, yeah, and I actually wanted to find it from, from a, a reliable source. Okay. Um, and now this is where it gets sort of interesting. What we need to find is where they define the L1 through L6 levels. Um, which might just be in the readme file. Um, but it doesn't appear to be, huh? Um, um, okay. L1. New. Okay, so now we need to find where they're talking about shoreline data, shoreline coastal resources. Um, somewhere in here and this I might actually be able to find here it actually it actually says what each uh, which there's six layers here and it actually somewhere tells you what each layer is um, yep, that wasn't a good idea oh Jesus maybe let's try it like this and we definitely in this case want the capital L one because th that is important here and we probably want to be in a different directory, so we'll go over to our friend window 2. Or window 1. Uh, minus, and it's definitely case sensitive. Oh, one star. Um, I don't know why it's showing up in these images. That's kind of weird. I think level F map is actually the, bizarrely enough, this is it. Yeah, this is the thing that has it. Um, let's see. The level F stuff is the, somewhere in here it actually will tell me what it is. Um, or no, no, it won't. It, rivers are not included in this, but it's like, um, I think the word lakes. Here we are. Quoting the readme. Here we are. Lakes, islands and lakes, ponds and islands within lakes. So I think that's the furthest they go. But this is gold. This is the bullshit that I need. Um, now the question is where the fuck in the read- oh is this in the readme if you actually unzip the file? That might be the case because this readme apparently does not have it. <laughs> um, this actually does kind of mention um, river lakes. Mm, this, this sort of mentions it actually, but I think the file I really want is the one that you get from unzipping the uh, the big file, which is the. Um, the file here, which I kind of want to, um, um, oh, I think this is the file we just read, which does not have the data that I want. Um, it's fine. It, I think this is the file people will want. I, I'm going to check to see which one I have, um, Unless I made the whoopsie of not storing the original file, which I usually am not bad about, so there it is. Um, this is the file, so let's make sure this is SHP237 or whatever, yep. And inside of this file, I'm pretty sure that capital readme is inside of this file. Oh shit, it's almost, oh it is, okay, good. There is a readme, there are several readmes. Um, and this is the sucky readme, but that's okay, because we can go into here, and this readme is probably... Mm, oh, there was a readme there. Okay, also not there. So 
I think maybe, th well, this is the last hope we have, kind of. Uh, lakes? Um. Okay, quoting from the readme. We don't know which readme I'm quoting from. So I'm annoyed. Um. Let's see. I like when I say quoting from, quoting readme. Is there a readme in here? I mean, if there is, that's actually really bad of me because it means that I have not properly separated out my separated out my files correctly. Yeah, this is this is why it's. Um, This is why I never post answers, because I'm way... I, you, you, I think I'm close to being able to post an answer, but I look at it and it's all garbage. Okay, so now we're going to do something stupid. Um, we're going to find all the files here that are less than uh, 1 million characters, which is probably a bad idea. Excuse me. And I'm going to grep for... Um, the word lakes, because I know it's in where I need it to be. Also, it would have been nice if I had probably fixed this. Okay. Maybe it's in the shape files. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So it's actually not in the readme now, is it? Idiot. So it's in shape files now. Okay. Um, ooh. And of course, really, the world is is round, or at least it's it's connected east to west. Um, okay. And then there's even a river database. Wow. Um. So technically, does this say? Okay. So this does say ocean islands. So lakes would be in ocean islands, islands in. So now, I think the write-up is going to be much, much less than what we've what the work we've done. But that's okay because I don't. Oh, oh, someone's actually answered me. <laughs> I'm funny. Okay. Jesus, I don't know if some. Not, I'm kind of beginning to think that. Um, um, I'm hoping no one else has like swooshed my answer. Um, that's not an. That's on an island. That's it. Oh my god. All right. So. So this is, I'm going to say, uh, um, this is, oh, we always say this. Not an answer, but maybe helpful. Um, short, now I'm going to put it in quotes. Yes, there are islands within islands. Um... at least according to NASA. So we have our little source details. This is going to be a freaking short answer, I think. Um, let's, I'm going to go to both the readme at the main page and the, um, I don't know why I did that because that's not going to help. Okay. Um, so the b much bigger part of this is why this is important. Um, I want to make sure I'm 
it because they don't mention lakes here. Oh shit, do they? Fuck. Oh, they do, but this is a lake. Um, it'd be too easy. Um. Um. They're calling these shorelines. You gotta be careful. Oh, okay, they're also calling them coastlines. Um, has a list of coastline shape files. Um, if you download, I'm gonna be a little bit careful here. This name, actually, I'll just take the whole thing and I will cut it to pieces. If you download, from let's make sure I'm in the right directory I am unzip it and read the shapefiles.txt file therein it says in part wow I have just I have just therein when you start using words like therein you know there's no hope um, let's see I want to make sure that what I'm saying is accurate though I want to make sure the shape files is in there. And this is quoted, so I need to make sure it's quoted. Um, I think I want block quote on this one, but it might be wrong because it might it might be that I want to preserve the format as well. Um, so we may need to make sure that's quoted correctly. That should be fine. Um, because level one includes ocean islands, and level two includes lakes, level three would be islands in lakes in islands. Um, a little bit of this here. Okay, it is Pomodoro time and I'm going to take it back in two and two. Okay, we are almost back, and we're back. Okay, um, okay. 
You can also get a flavor of this from which includes which include yeah it includes words like phrases like that was like phrases phrases like ponds and islands and lakes. why stuff like this is kind of important. Now we get to mention the other thing that we're not using at all. Oh, I, I pinned it. We'll just say if you download data from... I don't even get to mention the Caspian Sea here. Kind of bummed out. Um, now I'm going to make an intentional mistake here. Instead of saying coastal distance, I'm going to say coastal distancing. This is my attempt at humor. I, I don't think anyone's going to get it. But anyway. Um... You'll note the disclaimer. I've got to get to quote more stuff. I'm so happy. Probably need to end that lock quote. We need to do a little bit of design on this. Um. Wow, do I want to even mention my own work here? Maybe not. Um, um, so, if you want to know... Uh, how far you are. If you, so if you want to know, if you want to know your distance from the nearest land or water, you can't just use this data. Um, you know what? That's not. That's kind of what they already say, though. Um. Oh wow, we have one bullet point, I need more. Um, let's we'll see if I can get away with one bullet point. Um, so for accurate land water distancing, and I'm again being very clever here, um, You do need to account for inland seas and ultimately uh, islands and seas. Um, uh, let's see, no, hang on. Islands and seas, let's see where we are. Ooh, I do need to mention rivers. Um, let me let me go ahead and just quote what they have here. Islands and seas. Inland seas and lakes. Am I gonna get in trouble for saying that? Um Islands and Seas. Lakes on islands. Hang on, 
I gotta be careful here. Um, Cause I think I'm actually, uh, okay, hang on. Inland seas and ultimately, you do need to account for inland seas, islands and seas, lakes on islands, and this is actually incorrect, but I'm going to leave it the way it is. Islands in lakes, on islands, etc. Of course, of course, you could continue this circ you could continue this indefinitely, um, but apparently, four levels. Oh, hang on, you know what? I don't want to do this. Moon seas, islands on seas, etc. Moon seas, islands on seas, lakes on islands, islands and lakes on islands, <laughs> etc. Um. Of course. This could continue indefinitely, um, but we have data for at least the first four. I'm going to say this sort of ambiguously because it's really not the first four. It's the first three levels. Um, for even greater accuracy, you need rivers. You need to account for rivers. Which themselves can have islands, but I can't say that because we don't. Um, let's see. Damn it, I knew I had the river stuff somewhere. rivers on this page? Ooh, they do. Fudge up things a little bit. It's the WDB, which is a little bit different, actually. Um, question is, do we think is this actually included in the file? I don't think it is actually. I think the WDB is separate. And I'm wrong. It's right there. And in fact, it's um, let's see if we can find a reference to it somewhere. Ooh. Bang on the mic there. All right, let's see here. Um, I, if it's mentioned in shape files, oh yeah. So I need to change this answer a little bit. Um, good there's a, there's there's like 11 i think w they one of them actually includes swimming pools believe it or not in fact i don't believe it so i'm going to take a look here okay it doesn't include swimming pools but i think we're one step away from that uh let's see now i need to make sure yes Which are also included 
in the zip file I quoted earlier. Um, these are in 12 levels, 11 levels. Shapefiles.txt all caps, or it is. And yes, I could do this with a um, with a cut and replace or whatever. This is overkill. Uh, note that except for level one, river widths aren't given, um, aren't aren't included, well, aren't given. Um, so uh, aren't given. So, um, river widths aren't given, and I just kind of want to stop the sentence there. Um, so you can't quite get hyper-accurate distance from land water data calculations you can't quite calculate hyper accurate let me put in spell mode you can't quite calculate hyper accurate distance from land water but can get pretty close so that's just gonna say that I kind of want to include something in here that says if you're insanely obsessed with this sort of stuff. Um, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and add that in. So I'm not going to put in any... Let's make sure I've gotten all the stuff I wanted to get in. Uh, I didn't want to mention my stuff here. Uh, yeah, this is a much shorter answer than I'd wanted. I'm not even get to mention my wonderful song, but, 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 and I don't think I'm going to do that joke. I'm going to do the distancing joke, but that's about it. Um, let's see. If you're insanely interested in coastal distance, coastal distancing calculations, <laughs> um, please feel free to contact me. Um, uh, so we want, do I want to link in the other question? I think I do, actually. Uh, let's see what it was. And do I have it? I do not have it. Let's take a look at it real quick. Um... Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Let me... Now, what's the kind of way to mention it? So... Note that... the answers comments on... may also be helpful. So again, I've kind of side-mentioned myself now. So I've gotten a good source, put in a lot of useless data, and referenced a question that really isn't important. Um, so 
I'm pretty happy. I think this is a good answer now. In the sense of being a bad answer. Uh, oh, crap. I can't answer this question, can I? Because it is closed. But I can be very obnoxious about this. Um, add a comment, add a comment, add a comment. Well, fudge. Should have seen that coming. All right, let me go ahead and push this to, um... Let me go ahead and push this to git, get a fixed URL for it that is stuck to this version, um, and uh, just ask them to reopen it based on that. So please stand by. I should really be able to get this, um, put that on my to-do list, actually. To-do, or tot-toad, figure out how to get version-specific URL of file in GitHub. I, I mean, autom automated locally without visiting GitHub. By just knowing the uh, revision number. Uh, that would be a useful skill to have. Any skill. So I didn't get to mention this beautiful looking thing. Sad. But unfortunately sometimes you can't force it. Mm -hmm. Hoping this is the correct, okay. And so, oh, I, actually sorry, I could have just done this. This this part I could have done, this part of it I could have done. Uh, bc gitify, bc git, stack, readme, coast of buffer, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. So I could have gotten this far on my own. And I should have gotten this far on my own. Okay, now... That's not what I wanted. Very close to what I wanted, though. Let's see. Um, copy path. I think copy path actually does give me the um, nothing. Gives me the nothing. Um, so there's a way to do this. I've done this before. Find file, no, copy path. This is mysterious. This gives me the revision. No, I don't want to switch. All right, Pomodoro time, back in two and two. And we are almost back. Oh. 
and I apparently picked up a follower. All right, I'm not going to embarrass you, Mr. Follower. Well, actually, I probably will. Thank you for following. Let's see if you're still here. Um, Kazo Pamen, thank you for joining. Feel free to say hello in the chat. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you have any comments, let me know. I'm very bored. I'm, I should. Well, I, I screwed up the joke. I'm very lonely. Okay. Um, so let me get the uh, fixed version of this, which I know you can do. Oh, is this it? No, that's to the whole commit. Oh, you know what? I think you might have to go to the commit, and then to the file. Oh, actually, this is the whole commit. That, okay, no. Okay, let's see if that's the, to the freaking, oh, come on, really? That's it. That's what I need. Jesus Christ. And this is just going to be a comment, so it's not going to be very long. Um... I believe, please reopen, as I believe I have a good answer of sorts at really hideous URL. Under non-answer, which, ha ha, I am humorous. Now let's make sure this actually works. And I think this is, um, and the cool thing is I get to sort of mention this stuff without actually mentioning it. Um, so I'm pretty darn proud of myself. I'm going to pat myself on the back. Turns out I have no hands. I am an artificial intelligence or artificial dumbness uh, with no hands. Okay, so what we're going to do next now is completely unrelated to this, and you, you kind of saw that coming. Um, and someone asked me, someone I'm not going to mention because they, they actually did mention an AOL very quick. AOL? Did I just say AOL? I did just say AOL. Hang on. I can't be right. Gmail. Google, Google Hangouts. Um, that they wanted to know what the path of the planets look like um, as viewed from Earth uh, because the, the path of the sun is known as the ecliptic and it's very steady. The path of the moon is not quite as steady. The path of the other planets, because they don't actually orbit the Earth. I mean, the sun orbits the Earth in the sense that we orbit the sun and blah, blah, blah. Um, but, um, but, I mean, the other planets don't even come close to orbiting us, so their paths are pretty weird. Now, y you probably don't remember that I'd actually created a program that did, did this, uh, but it had a problem with it, which was uh, it also included data about when the planet was near the sun, because it was more, I was more interested in... Um, in um, in showing you know the planet's visibility uh, in the sky as opposed to uh, you know just its just its path. So uh, I think though we have some pretty decent um, uh, pretty decent God damn it pretty decent uh, data that we can use here, and we might have to tweak the Perl script that creates the map. But I'm also okay with that. Or actually create a new one because we don't like tweaking things. Um, so the, the BC any dump, which I kind of wish I had uh, an, an H option for, which I don't. Um, and if you don't give it any options, it actually does assume some, which is kind of, actually kind of ugly. Uh, so I'm kind of tempted now to, um, uh, to mess with it, because clearly uh, whenever you have a working program, you do need to mess with it. And it even has some little confusing, yes, I do want to read it. It even has a little bit of confusing stuff here because it looks like you're using this if you're not looking at a highlighted version, and you're not. This is just sort of, uh, just sort of there for fun, and also it looks like you're using this, which you're not. It's also there just for fun. Um, there is a way to check to see if you have like minus minus help do something, but anyway, the um, the oh good, this act is actually option related. So let options related. So let's do, you know, we want to be, let's, I'm actually kind of curious. Um, let's see. 
So let's go ahead and do a data dump. Any dump, rather. Uh, let's do one from Mercury, and I, I'm trying to see like what's a good sort of. Um, I want to do like for the whole century, just so we get all the loops and stuff. So this should be. That should be, okay. And then because we you know we are. Might as well go to the beginning of the next century. Which is technically not 2100, but I'm going to say it is because it's m it's my stream and I can cry if I want to. Okay. Um, now the real question here is because um, it really you know Mercury moves the fastest, obviously. So what are we going to use as our interval of time here? Um, the delta, as it were. I don't know. Um, I think using one day, I'll use one day, and I get the feeling it's not going to be that. But that's okay. We can we can change it. Um, Mercury is ID one ninety nine. Now what we're going to do here is the frame. Uh, because I'm going to plot it on an ecliptic, um, ecliptic map, we actually want the J2000 ecliptic, because that's what we're going to be referencing it against. So there's this, um, and we'll just do this, and this will probably not be the thing we really need. It's also going to be fairly long now that I think about it, because, well, that wasn't too bad, actually. Um, oh, it's actually kind of nice that it spits out what you did with it. Um, no. Uh, ephemeris time, which we don't use. Uh, although this does indicate that I'm off by half a day, but I don't care. Unix time. Start. Jesus Christ, we have the time in three formats. <sighs> Ecliptic, longitude, and latitude. What's interesting is even though I give the uh, the date three form, I don't bother to explain that these are in degrees. That they are, but I probably could have done a better job of explaining that. So now we're going to look at the uh, Perl script that could print these out, or uh, actually can't, but, uh, you know, at one point in my life might have been able to. Um, BC ecliptic map, which sounds like it's probably the correct thing. Um, uh, okay, so the format for stood into this program should be 199, the Julian date, that's awesome that I did that. The ecliptic longitude, the ecliptic latitude, solar angle, which tells you how close it is to the sun in the sky as viewed from the earth, which tells you how visible it is. I mean, if it's too close to the sun, it's not visible. Um, okay. That's interesting. Maybe do I have a file here that does it? Um, oh, these are the actual. Uh, sorry, these are the actual stars that it plots, not 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 the uh, not the planets. Okay, so let's see if we can. Um, I want to generalize this a bit, so um, So we can give the... Well, I mean, this is not going to work because it's... Um, for many, many reasons. Um, okay. So let's see. I mean, I've got two things I can change here. One is the program that dumps the data. And actually, including the NAFE ID, there's already, a, there's already sort of a, um, a balance between... Um, between printing out all relevant data and printing out too much data, especially data that you can get from other data. Um, uh, let's see. I kind of like this one. The only thing I don't necessarily like is the Julian date. Um, again, I don't mention whether it's in what unit it's in. It's uh, 
breeze or whatever. And the only reason I can't use this program as is is because of the solar angle. So is there a... Always have as many different non-congruent um, as possible. All right, let's go ahead and tweak. Uh, I don't think we can use ecliptic map the way it is, but we can tweak it. And I don't want to. I don't want to mess with the original because even if we put in options and shit, um, actually, I'm going to write this as BC ecliptic map. Oy ve. This is really, really bad. I need to find a better. Um, This is a copy of BC Ecliptic Map that works with output, without, or it probably should work without, output from BC Any Dump. So we have declared that, and run that for this program. I'm going to leave this, no I'm not. And that to-do probably still should remain. Um, this should probably be fine. This is all... Okay, so at some point... Okay. Wow. Does it really go all this way without ever looking... Oh my god. Wow. It goes this far without even printing uh, a single planet, without printing a planet location. This could actually be freaking useful by itself. Um, let me... Let me... Do I need to do a Pearl Fix? Probably. Rehash. I'm gonna get a permission not permission denied, I think. But I, I want to. I want to, yep. I need to chamod plus exit to get it to work. That's fine. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. No 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 no. Much badness has happened. This is not what I want. We should be able to Oh, oh, oh sh I know it's wrong. Um Actually, if I don't give it anything, it should still be able to print. <sighs> Take some days. Okay. I don't know why, I just don't know how to name things. Okay, this is actually a huge file, by the way. Uh, so huge, you can't even see it. Ooh, no. let's do a display with it. Because the ecliptic is very long and very um, narrow. Okay. Um, so this is what this file prints. It's the ecliptic. It's the ecliptic going through uh, various uh, various constellations. There's a little bit of up and down here because... Uh, and this, obviously, is what you would put planets on top of. You'd be a little bit careful here because I actually... Um, the very right edge is not where the vernal equinox is. Uh, I... I tweaked it so I could get all Virgo in there. Um, so let's see over here. Um, between Leo and Virgo would be the, oh, is that the summer? No, that's the vernal equinox. Uh, so I, this is not actually lined up to the hours, which I should probably make an option to put in there. Um, hmm. Sheraton, you could stay there. Um, yeah. And of course, the other problem is it's very hard to see this uh, as one um, as one map because it is it is pretty big. Okay. Um, so now. So I think I, I literally didn't change this. I'm so awesome. All right.
right, let's see. Okay, and it does look like it expects it in 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 degree in radians because it converts it to degrees. Um, yeah, kind of drawn them like here. I mean, th there's plenty of ways to go forward. I just can't decide which of the many ways to go forward I want to go forward with. Um. I'm trying to figure out the most generic way of doing this, while at the same time not spending too much time on finding the most generic way to do this. And I'm not sure I want to um, change BC any dump, but I could create a second version that prints exactly what we need. Um, why Julian date? Why did I decide on the Julian date? I mean, I know I, I know how to convert it, but. The Julian date is stupid. Uh, well, I do have a function to convert between. <laughs> so, so I get. I'm awesome. I get it in. Um, I love this. I get it in. I, I make it, make them output it, and make myself output it in Julian, and then only to convert it back to Unix. Uh, that is that is stellar. Okay, let's see if we can be a little bit more um, stupid. Uh, I don't know what, what's the word I'm looking for. Um, now, the only sort of other place that outputs um, that outputs data like this is 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 NASA uh, Horizons, um, and it would kind of be nice if we could be consistent with their form, uh, not formula, their format. Okay, so let's take a quick look. I think I have this in more than one place. Um, so SOE is start of fuck you, a start of output. It's not E doesn't stand for output though. And then they do mention just before the SOE what you're getting, um, which is very nice. Um, hideously ugly, but very nice. So it might be kind of useful if we could actually parse this form. Um, okay, Pomodoro time, back in two and two, maybe. And we are almost back. 
And we are back. Yep, still no one chatting, which is cool. No one loves me. Okay, so let's go ahead and, um, because we can assume that most people will not be getting data from me, but from Horizons, uh, let's go ahead and try to parse this format, but hey, if we're going to do it, do it wrong. Wrong, do it with me. So let's go over to Horizons and get the data we need from Mercury. And it is actually kind of ugly because there's a lot of different formats here. We need to make sure we have... Um, probably don't want vector. We probably want observer. Uh, so observer table. Uh, Mercury. I think we're not going to go with the top eccentric. We're going to... That, that was actually to solve the, uh, the, terminator the terminator line problem. I think this is correct. Yeah. What is it at 399? I meant geocentric. Um, the big, big tell here is going to be what we need in terms of the quantities. Now, the, the time span we can change, but the quantities we want are actually fairly strange. Um, so we need to make sure we get them, and we need to make sure they agree with my program, because <laughs> I'm writing it wrong. No, that's, that's a joke, of course. Um, the ones we fundamentally need here... Um, are the ecliptic longitude and la oh God, I hope they have them. Yeah. Um, I would prefer to have that in actually a, a different form, but okay. Um, heliocentric, that's not actually useful. The observer just means we're going to get a slight, no, actually we're geocentric, we're fine. Uh, we don't want that. I think they give us time automatically. Now, the only thing I want to be, um, I want to allow, I want to allow people to have extra fields in there and that doesn't throw us off. Uh, because we, we are, um, because we, we want to be able to ignore data that we don't need. So we want the observers, ecliptic, longitude, and latitude. I guess this would be a nice thing to have, just for fun. Um, okay. Uh, a lot of these don't apply necessarily to Mercury. Mm, boy, these are... Constellation ID, just because I'm kind of curious, actually. Uh, local apparent solar time. Um, yeah, these are all kind of fun. Uh, let's go ahead and, oh. All right. I think, I think these are the defaults for this um, observer settings, because, um, yes, okay. So we don't want to mess with those because if we do need to to to, um, to code for a standard, we need to code for a standard that is um, we need to code for the default standard more than we need to code for other standards. Okay. This, however, is not cool because I think we need to change this to CSV. Um. Which is kind of ugly because it's not the default, but... Oh, no, hang on. So let's write these... That's a, I would want to snapshot these, to be honest. Um, now, I don't know if angle format equals deg is a... It's an option. Do we want... I mean, do we... Is that something I chose? Let me go ahead and write this shit down before I forget. That's not what I wanted. It's also not what I wanted. Let's try that again. Control C. Control Y. There we go. And I'm kind of I'm kind of wondering if um, 
angle format degree is actually a special non-default subject uh, so that it will be oh apparently you can't choose radian so it's either decimal or hour minute degree seconds okay all right so now with these new wonderful settings that we have we should be able to run this um I, I guess we do not want the default settings. So what does this give us? This downloaded it by itself, which is exactly what we wanted. Uh, we could probably this is probably small enough that we can we can bring it in um, to the Git. Uh, oh yeah, gorgeous. And obviously, this is not the final thing we're to parse, but this is the um, this is the uh, the thing we're going to use to um, to get our initial data to get our um, uh, yep, 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 yep. and I want to be able to do this if even if the data is so long that it can't be loaded into memory all at once. Although, Oikoromba. I'm kind of wondering if my program will give the same output. Um, or at least some meaningful variation of this output. So I already have the output sent somewhere. So let's go to another screen here. And all I need to do now is figure out the um, time pretty sure this will work. Oh, <laughs> when I say pretty sure, I mean it will not work. Um, and I want to see UTC here to make sure we got the, uh, the... Yeah, okay. Uh, so that should be 158621 in the second, okay, 158621. This will be in the second column. Oh. And let's see, 353 and minus 2, they say, yeah, okay, it, it's roughly the same, it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. Okay, so it, it, they, they are giving reasonable results in the sense that I am giving reasonable results. Um, I wonder if I have a parse horizons format already. Well, there's something called BC Parse Horizon, so you gotta love that. Um, okay. And this apparently matches the um, the Horizon's output from uh, if you email them. Believe it or not. Um. So that's not what we want. Email Horizons. What is OP? Uh, you can also get data from from Horizons by um, uh, yeah, from by emailing them, and so that I've done that quite a bit, as you can see. Um, horizons to map might do it, actually. This might be the thing that, um, yes. Okay. That actually is probably the closest we have to something that actually does it. Um. think I've fallen into the trap of making this problem even more hard than it, it has to be. I mean, excessively hard. Um, so, let's see. Hmm. Okay. 
which is good. We wasted some time there, but I think maybe even for us, too much time. Um, and by the way, the whole point about getting into leaflet or whatever, which you can do, um, is that you can uh, create tiles from this image, uh, which you could which you can show in in leaflet, so you can zoom in, zoom out as much as you want. Um, and that way you wouldn't even have to limit your image to be 16,384 pixels. You can make it even bigger. Um, there's actually a limit, I think, um, to how big... What is there? Uh, there's a limit that many, many, uh, many, some graphics programs won't handle. I think it is like 65,536 or something, but it could be wrong about that. Um, but anyway, again, that is another thing I'd like to do because, of, co of course, it's a lot easier to see um, see th this thing when you're zooming in and out. Um, so sending someone a picture that is an image that is 16384 wide, probably not. A I'm going to do it, but it's probably not a great idea. So I'm kind of unhappy now. Um, so I'm almost unhappy enough to talk myself out of this. Um, um, and we're going to look to see how long I've been streaming, which is a sure sign that I'm going to stop. I've uh, been going for one hour, 44 minutes. So that's not bad. Um, yeah, I'm kind of curious. I mean, it's not going to be a very nice pattern because it's going to loop around a lot. It's not going to it's not going to line even in a hundred years. I don't think we're going to get any sort of lineup. We're just going to get kind of weirdness. Um, for Mercury and and I think for Pluto, we'll probably not get a great deal. It'll mostly be circles because of the Earth's it's fact effectively it's parallax or retrograde motion, whatever you want to call it. Um, so there's definitely something here. Uh, we want to be able to print out in a form. You know, and if this were um, if this were Pearl that I was overdoing this in, sort of C, I, I would be able to just basically say, you know, put the this is our format string. Um, and now I'm kind of wondering if we can do that in C. A uh, format string, which would tell you what to print, um, in what order, and. Uh, the thing that makes me worried is, are we going to have enough for 26, um, 26 letters and, and the numbers? Are we going to need bigger than that? Um, and of course, there's the whole question of how are we going to set this up in um, in CSpice? So we, we, we're probably going to calculate all the numbers and just print some of them. Seems like how we're going to do it, which maybe is inefficient. Um, but anyway. I hope to come back later today, but I probably will not. Thank you for watching the stream, and goodbye for now.